All right, so did you catch the eclipse okay. this weekend? What a sight it was to see. Just look at some of this. This is some of the picture from the Mayborn Planetarium in Colleen. Now, Central Texas turned out in full force for the rare phenomenon. Now, if you did miss it this weekend, well, guess what? You have six months for, uh, to prepare for the next one. So you got quite a bit of time. Now, for more on that, we want to turn to the newest Six News meteorologist, Whitney Huddleston. Now, we introduced you to her earlier this morning. And listen, we're going to make sure that you earn this check. So we put you to work <laughs> already, Whitney. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here. Let's talk about Saturday really quick. I was at Target and there's a lot of people there that did not know this was happening. Everyone's going to know about the one in April. The difference between the one that we just had and the one that we're going to have in early 2024 is that it is actually going to get dark outside. It's going to be a total eclipse and we're right in the path of totality, which is really exciting. Um, I've got little kiddos that were talking about it Saturday and they were trying to look up at the sun and we we're like, no, 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 you got to wear the glasses. You're, you're going to want them for April as well, and that's on a Monday, by the way, April 8th. And you can see totality right there. Waco, Colleen, Temple, Belton, all of us are going to be right there in the totality zone. People are even renting out their houses. It's going to be a crazy time. I'm really excited about it, and you can see it's going to be a lot of areas in Texas. You can see all the way up towards eastern Texas. DFW is going to see totality and again the difference is going to be that it's going to look completely dark. You can see it's going to be early afternoon hours on April 8th, which by the way again it was over the weekend. So a lot of people got to see the last one. This one's going to be on a Monday. A lot of people it's going to be during their lunch hour or something like that, but you can see it's going to be between about one and three.